five individuals, including Chanukarat Vatta, who were arrested by the Police Financial Crimes Investigations Division today, were remanded until the 28th of September after they were produced before Colombo Fort Magistrate Lanka Jayaratna. The five suspects, including Chanukaratwatta, are charged with defrauding 4.2 billion rupees belonging to the Central Bank of Sri Lanka. Thereby, the chairman of Entrust Securities PLC and four other members of its board were arrested by the police FCID this afternoon and produced before the Colombo Fort Magistrates Court. The suspects were arrested following a complaint made by the Central Bank charging that the suspects had misused and misappropriated security deposits belonging to four institutions that come under the purview of the Central Bank and the Ceylon Electricity Board. Presenting facts to court, the FCID said that further investigations are being carried out and that the estimated loss from the fraud could exceed 12 billion rupees. If Chanukaratwatta can be charged under the Public Property Act, then the governor of the central bank should be behind bars by now for the bond scam. That was the biggest bond scam that took place in the history of the central bank. Therefore, his son-in-law, Aloysius, should be imprisoned by now. So there is one law for Ranil Vikramasinghe's government's bond scam and there is another law for Chanukaratwatta's bond scam. Why are there two different laws in one country? Meanwhile, leader of the National Freedom Front, Vimal Veeravansa, was questioned by the police FCID over the misuse of state vehicles.